It's, it's a me, Mario. Mario. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm Super Mario Do the Fourth, and welcome to a new project that I am doing. It is known as Super Mario 64, and you probably know this is a little thing on your bottom left-hand corner. That's me. Hi, I'm Super Mario Do the Fourth. You have to actually see my face on the very few times that you get to do it. Uh, my wife bought me a. Oh yeah, I get to mess up Mario's fun. Uh, my wife managed to go ahead and buy me a uh, a webcam for Christmas, and she's like, "Michael, how come you're not using your webcam in order to uh, you know do videos and stuff?" And I'm like, "You know what? Why not? Right?" So I'm trying to figure out how to make the stuff stay where it's at. I'm failing to remember. I thought it was R, but I guess not. Oh well. Anyway. Let's stop screwing around and get this thing started, shall we? Uh, Mario A is just my practice spot. I've played this game before and I've beaten this game a couple times. Hey Mario, He's years ago. Castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Princess Toadstool. Peach. Peach. Fun fact, uh, this is the first game in which Princess Toadstool is known as Peach. Japanese, we call her Peach all this time, but it's just sprung on us in Super Mario 64. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, her name is Peach. Huh? Huh? Okay. Makes sense, I guess. It makes us think that she's, like, not a mushroom or something. Unless she actually is a mushroom. You know, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's where she gets her toad from. Let's not think about that. Alright, so we have... Mr. Mario himself. What? Mine. All right, I'll turn it down. It says, "Chow, you've reached the Princess Toadstool's castle in a warp via warp pipe. Using your controller, it's a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller. It's not on the center controller. See, uh, mine's on the left hand side of the controller. But at any rate, and you can move Mario around and head for the castle." All right, so welcome to the beginning of 3D games. Mar Super Mario 64 is really what made 3D games into what they are today. Uh, it's, uh, anytime you think about 3D video games, most people usually come up with Super Mario 64. It's that popular. Princess Toso Castle is just ahead. Press A to jump, Z to crouch, and B to punch. Read a sign or grab a thing. Press B again to throw a thing you're holding. Right, so, uh, some basic controls, uh, move the control stick around to move Mario around, A to jump, uh, you can hit the, you can do some punching with the B button, if you run, crouch, and hit the A button, you can do a long jump, if you're a cool kid like me, you can do it backwards, just by holding the back button and doing some, uh, backwards jumping, uh, if you run forward, move back, and hit the A button, you can do a side jump, if you crouch without moving and then hit the A button, you can do a backflip. You can also crawl while moving around while crouching. Uh, it has a couple of uses, but not really too many uses. Uh, if you run, crouch, and hit the B button, you can do like a baseball slide. That's not something that's used too often, but that's something that you can do. Uh, other than that, we are being interrupted. Good afternoon! The Lucky Two Brothers here are putting live from the outside of Princess Peach's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene. We'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. And seizing camera men will be shooting from the recommended angle. But you can change your camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we don't can't adjust to the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press the C up button. Press A to resume play. Switch camera mode to the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Brothers, even though I am only one Lakitu. So yes, uh, this is how they introduce 3D cameras in the game. By using the C buttons, you can move all around. Uh, if you hit the R button, you can get a closer view of Mario. Uh, then you can just do first person view. Hit C up to go back to normal. So yeah, this is a useful thing to do if you're having issues with camera. If you hit the back or C down button, you can actually go further behind. You get a more of a surround look. But anyway, let's head into the castle. Welcome to the Now scrab and don't come back. <laughs> yes. So, Bowser is being a dick as per normal. 
And we must go into this door, because this door doesn't have a power star symbol on it. And we'll just go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Quite literally and figuratively. All right, so welcome to Big Bomb Mom on the Summit. All right, so you're smack dab in the middle of a battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the paintings of worlds. First, talk to the Bomb Dom buddy. Press the B button to talk. He'll help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop and face and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters to face them when pressing B. Let's talk to this guy. Watch out, if you, if you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bomb bombs love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bomb bomb got his pals in a power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big bomb bomb. Please come back and see me after you've retrieved the power star. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. Hello, guy. Hey, you! It's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross two bridges ahead and watch out for falling water bombs. The big bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bomb on buddies. We're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you like to. Sweet lord. Alright. So, of course, these are Goombas, so all you have to do is run and slide into these guys. Bombs, all you have to do is really just grab them, chuck them out of the way, grab some coins. Uh, it's always a good idea to grab coins, because coins are a super useful thing to... Can I grab you? Can I grab you? Bomb, 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 bomb. Thank you. Goodbye. Wham. Grab that coin. Alright, so having coins is a useful thing, because coins are, well, not really a currency, but coins are useful for collecting stars. Because, as you can see, there are red coins, and blue coins, and yellow coins. Uh, we haven't found any... Yeah. We haven't really found any blue coins yet, but blue coins are worth five yellow coins, and red coins are worth two yellow coins. If you collect eight red coins, you get a star. If you collect a hundred yellow coins, you get a star. And, uh... And you don't get anything for collecting a lot of blue coins. They just help you out with getting a hundred yellow coins. Can I grab this guy? Thank you. So, that's the basis of how this is going to work. Uh, there's a star there, but we're not going to... Well, that guy can be a dick. Nope, not the... Not the... Baseball slide. Alright, so, uh, one thing I should note about, um, uh, coins is that coins allow you to gain health. Hi, hi. Hillary's not feeling well, so that's why she sounds like a 30 year old stunner. But I love her anyway. Hi, honey. Ow, ow, ow. Your butt munch. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, basically what we need to do is get up this mountain summit. Uh, throughout most part, um, since I've played this game, I'm going to assume that most of you watching have played this game in the past, and it's a fun game to play. Uh, it's one of my very first games I've played as a kid, uh, on the N64. I think this is actually the first game I got on my N64. Uh, I never actually got well, full 120 stars as a kid. I didn't do that until years later uh, with my younger brother. And so we managed to get all 120 stars and get the Yoshi and everything. But um, I've never actually done it by myself. So that's why... Wow, that was, that was a weird look at Mario. Hey, Mario, what happened to your graphics there, buddy? That's kind of odd. Anyway, back to this guy. I'm the big boom bomb Lord of all blasting matter, giggity. King of Kabooms the world over, also you get him. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my gods, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take my away my power, sir. I hereby challenge thee, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me into this royal turf? I think that you cannot. <laughs> All right, so we get to run around and, uh, and avoid Mr. Big King Bomb. That's always one thing that I enjoy doing, is accidentally diving in front of him. Shoot. 
That it happens, believe me. Alright, so we're running behind him, and we want to grab. Now, be careful to not throw him off the mountain. You might think, oh hey, king of the mountain, right? You gotta throw him off the mountain. Nope. Because if you do that, it's going to start all over, and he's like, oh dare you throw me off the royal mountaintop! Blah, 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 blah. Triple side jump. Quadruple side jump. Quintuple side jump. Quintuple side jump. Here we go. Six side jumps out of do. Oh. Come on. Grab, grab, grab. There we go. I should be ashamed of myself. Alright. One more time. As everybody knows, the magic number in any Mario boss is three, usually. Not always, but usually. Gotcha, bud. Bam! What? What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has to fuse a bomb bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll never have to pick up the pace if you want to kick King Bowser by the tail. I methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. You're just uh, as I promised Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu for now. Farewell! Ooh. Sounds painful. Ooh. I've been destroyed. Ooh, I need a star. Ooh. Here we go! Big bomb bomb on the summit. Nice. Nice. You've recovered one of the stolen power cells. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor, and the room with the painting of Wong's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for the stars. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do this again. I'll probably be grabbing as many stars as I can from a stage. Uh, I can't do it on this stage until- or I can keep going until star number five. But hey, Mario, is it true that you beat King Bob Mom? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast, so how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Could be quick? I don't think so. Just try. How about a race to the mountaintop where the bug King Bob Mom was? What to say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go! Timmy! I've been watching too much, uh, I've been watching too much South Park there. Yeah, so, I've never, so speaking of South Park, I've never been, a, oh, shoot, that stupid chain shot. Alright, so I've never been allowed to watch South Park as a kid. I mean, for good reason that I have, uh, discovered. But, uh, yeah, South Park is pretty vulgar. But, um, one thing that I am a fan of, though, nope, one thing I'm not a big fan of is big black balls in my face. But, um, but I do appreciate, like, some of the humor, now that I'm older. But I can understand why my parents wouldn't let me watch it, because I would probably incessantly quote everything from Star South Park. And I still, and I still do. What? I am not, well, I am an asshole, though. Kind of. Whoa! Alright, so we beat Koopa the Quick by cheating. Hooray! I'm running around the pool and I'm got the best time. Take that super duper cool. Yeah. Yeah, Mario, you worked that pole. Check this out. Oh yeah, ladies, you know you want it. <sighs> wow, you really are fast. The human blur. Here you go. You want it fair and square. I just got a poop star. Here we go. Camera's up there. Foot race. We're coming quick. Complete. All right. Let's do one more. What's this one? Shoot to the island in the sky. Okay, we're not going. Oh wait, we are going to do this one. This one's actually really easy. Uh, it's similar to a one that I thought that we wouldn't be able to do yet, and that's why I got confused there. I was like, wait a minute. We should be able to do this one. Why wouldn't we? Oh, well. uh, this one is super duper easy. Uh, we have to talk to the bomb bomb buddy because I forgot to do that last time. Hey, bomb bomb buddy, how are you today? Hello. Please open the cannons. Thank you, Mario. The big bomb is about the big dud now, but the battle of the castle is just begun. The enemies are howling the other power stars. If we recover more stars, we can get new doors that leave new worlds. 
My bomb bomb buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them and they'll set up cannons. Uh, can we set up the cannon? We're a peace loving bomb bomb, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind, help yourself. So prepare all the cannons and this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Alright, ready for blast off. Pop into the cannon. Alright, so. Uh, pop into a cannon. Uh, you want to aim a little bit high. Also, they have inverted controls, and I don't like inverted controls. So, right now. Alright, so we got close to this cannon here, which is what we're going to need to use to get into the floating island star. Alright, so we want to go ahead and aim right about here. And Bam! Right in the tree. Like a boss. Did I even collect that coin? If I did, that'd be kinda cool. No, I didn't. But that'd be cool if I did though. Anyway, open up this box. And we got ourselves a star. Power star time, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I did it that time. Snap the snap the thumbs up thing. Shoot to the island in the sky. Alright, let's do You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Alright, one more star. Find your eight red coins. That one's pretty simple. So welcome to the origin of finding eight red coin missions. Uh, these are actually fairly simple. All you have to do is grab the first one there. Hop, skip, and a jump over to the thing here. By the way, I'm not sure if I explained how to triple jump. You just run and jump three times in rhythm, and it's actually fairly simple. Don't explain how I got that, but I got that. All right. Uh, one thing to explain about uh, red coin missions is that uh, the red coin star will always appear above this shadowy star right here. So always remember to come back to that whenever you get the eight red coins. Uh, screw you, water bomb. So, the other one is up this hill. Now, you could try to run up the hill, and it might work, if you're lucky. Seems to be working for me, so I'm not going to complain. So yeah, you just keep, keep, keep holding the run button, and the run button will treat you right. Go, go, go. Alright, the other two are fairly simple. Uh, let's see. One of them's on a floating island. And I'm having a massive brain for it as to where the other one is. Okay, one's on a floating island. So we need to get up there. Oh, wait, I know where the other one is. Right, so we need to get to the floating island, so you just kind of want it. My controller is a little bit sensitive on the uh, joystick, so I kind of want to get it in the center there, aim upwards, and do that like a boss. All right. Oh, uh, I guess we have a Koopa Turtle. What we can do is jump on the turtle, hop on a shell, or hop on a shell, and we can surfboard on the thing. We can kill enemies this way, most enemies. And you can go a lot faster. However, if you run into a wall, it'll, or you hit by an enemy, it'll be destroyed. So, you want to be very careful with this. So, we need to run down into here and run into the wall. Well, that wasn't as cool as I thought that would be, but that's fine. And we hit that button to open up the doorway to make this a lot faster. By the way, that'll be permanently open, I think. So. I don't need to worry about um, having to open that every single time. But, big but, we need to get out of here. Yeah, take that chain chomp. Didn't fall for it that time. 
All right, let's grab the star. Ba da bump, ba da bump. Here we go. All right, got ourselves four power stars. Not too bad for our first episode of Super Mario 64. So we'll go ahead and save right here and continue this on next time on Super Mario 64. So long, everybody. God bless. Have a good night.